Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is an outfit styling video. I've done a couple of these before, like my favourite spring outfits and my favourite winter outfits. But today's video is going to be outfit inspiration for different events that we can do as lockdown starts to ease. So I've thought about all the different dates and what you can do, like picnics for example, or bottomless brunch outdoors or a night out eventually and I've come up with some outfit ideas for those um, just to give you a bit of inspiration to get us all excited hopefully for the summer that's about to become so I really hope you enjoy this video if you do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you want more fashion videos because I love doing fashion videos they're so fun so yes let's just get started and I really hope you enjoy. So this is the first outfit because I think the first thing you can do is go for walks and picnics and stuff. That'll be like the first ease of lockdown. So I went for a little play suit. This one is from Shein. It's so comfy, actually really good quality. I got it like two summers ago, so like 2019. And I absolutely love this. I think it's so, so cute. And then I've got this little bag from Guess, which as well, I think is so cute. It can actually just fit like your phone, tissues, a key maybe, that's about it. Um, but I really love this bag. I've got these plimsoll shoes from Lipsy. They're just some like really old ones but they actually match this bag perfectly. Um, then I've got these earrings on from PLT and the sunglasses were from TK Maxx. So I just think this is really cute. Hopefully we have nice weather when we can go for picnics um, and I will definitely be making the most of the picnics and being outside as much as possible. But yeah, I just thought this was really cute. You could wear a little denim jacket with it or something if it's not as warm as I'm hoping it to be. But at the minute, it's looking like it's going to be warm based on February. So this is the first outfit. Woo! Ready for outfit number two. Okay, so this next outfit is my beer garden outfit. I cannot wait to be in the beer gardens. And just to let you know, beer gardens open on my birthday. So you best believe I'm going to be there on a Monday night. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so this outfit, I love this outfit actually. I haven't got any shoes on. My white chunky trainers are so muddy and I'm actually ashamed to show you what they look like. They're downstairs. So just imagine a pair of white chunky trainers with this outfit. We've got this white skirt which is actually a hand-me-down from my cousin but you can get skirts like this from pretty much everywhere. Then we've got a long sleeve pink crop top and it's got little thumb holes <laughs> if you want to be a bit edgy the, this is from ASOS and I got this a little while back I think it's from like the basics range then we've got this leather blazer this one was from Primark I can't believe how good quality it is for Primark but it is amazing then we have this little bag from PLT which I got last summer I just think this outfit is really cute you can stay warm if it gets colder in the evenings but if it's a warm day you can take off this blazer and still look really cute so I'm really here for this outfit and I hope you guys like it too. I have just got this scrunchie on, but it kind of works with the white, 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 and the white trainers. Um, get me to the beer gardens, I literally cannot wait. <laughs> this is this outfit. Okay, I love this outfit. Let's get some sunglasses. Oh, this outfit is a bit of me. Okay, I love this. This is my sort of day trips outfit when you can start going to like museums, zoos, like shopping daytime you will have a mask on those so it won't look as good for most of the places but if it's outdoors it will look like this so let's hope we have the nice weather and that we can actually pull off a little crop top but anyway this is from miss pat i absolutely love it burberry sort of style print then we have these jeans from plt which i got last summer absolutely love these definitely size down in these if you get them um they're quite oversized and then i've just got these sunglasses from guess and this little bag from guess and with an outfit like this, I'd either wear a white chunky trainer, a black chunky trainer, something along those lines. It depends how much you're walking, I guess. You could probably even wear this and like dress it up with a little heel if you're going out for a meal or something. But yeah, I think this is really cute. You could wear this going out for a meal, sitting outdoors, beer garden, a lot of places. But yeah, I just really think this is cute. And with a little rucksack, it's definitely daytime going for a little school trip. <laughs> got my little rucksack on and ready to go to the museum so this is this outfit okay so this outfit looked better in my head <laughs> this outfit seriously looked better in my head but i think if the trench coat is ironed it's just so creased at the minute it's just a bit of a mess um anyway 
This trench coat is from Pretty Little Thing. It's from my video that I did with Mia the other day where she picked my outfits. I'll link it down below or in the cards. I love this trench coat. I haven't actually worn it out yet. I need to iron it and then I'm ready to wear it. Then I've got this little bag from Vivian Westwood, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And I got it for my 21st birthday and I've hardly been able to use it because I've not been out. This dress is from Saffron Barker's In The Style range. And it's a really strange way to put on a dress, but like the straps here, you tie it around your neck and that makes it like shorter or longer. So you can have it as short or as long as you want. But I think it's quite classy and it's long sleeve, it's really nice. So I thought for a bottomless brunch in London maybe, you'll take your trench coat off when you get there so it doesn't matter that it's a bit creased. And then I've just put on these clunky heels that I always wear if you know me. Um, but I would probably wear more of like a small kitchen heel with this outfit, I just don't have any. So maybe I need to get some for summer because I'm going to a lot of boozy bottomless brunches. Anyway, love this outfit. Um, it did look better in my head, but I feel like any little black dress with a trench coat, super cute, and a little bag. Next outfit, let's go. Then, on the 21st of June, we're gonna be in the nightclubs, maybe. I probably won't, because I'm still gonna be at uni, but um, as in drama school, so I probably won't be going out on the 21st of June. Anyway, if you know me well, you know, you'll know that I've had this dress since I was about 15 and yes I'm still trying to squeeze myself into it but I actually think it looks better on me now than it did then so well done me. Um, this is from PLT or Misguided, I can't remember. I'll link everything down below if I can or similar things but I am obsessed with this dress. I just love it. I've worn it so many times. I just think it's so flattering like the ruching on it is so flattering and this year, when we can go for nights out, I think everyone's gonna dress a bit nicer. No more jeans in the nightclub, it's gonna be dresses and heels. I have just got on the same shoes as the last outfit, but I would wear a different pair of heels with this. Probably higher ones, to be honest. But this is my night out outfit, I absolutely love it. It's just so flattering, this material and this, like, ruching and stuff. But I'm obsessed. Um, I'm definitely going to be making the most of wearing dresses out in nightclubs. No more jeans and flares. I said it first and I'll say it again. <laughs> this is this outfit. There's one more outfit which I'm quite excited for. <laughs> and this is the final outfit. We have the festival outfit because loads of festivals have decided they're definitely going to be on now. So I'm not really a festival goer. I've been to one in my life and that was years ago. I think I was 17 um, and it was V-Fest. But I really do want to go to a festival this year at some point. So I thought I would just do a festival outfit. Um, I don't really know what I would actually wear to a festival. But I thought this was quite festival vibe. So I've just got these cycling shorts from Zara. These are the best cycling shorts I've ever owned. They're so, so good. This top is from Misguided from about like four or five years ago. So you probably can't find it anymore. I have really tried to squeeze into it. I've got this little bum bag. Can't remember where I got this from for the life of me. It is from... New look. It's probably from quite a few years ago. I think I bought it before I went traveling in like 2017. And then I've just got on, these are actually some boots that I used to wear for like army training at school. Um, I would wear my other leather boots, which go up to like here, but they're downstairs and they're really, 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 really muddy. <laughs> you could also wear some like fishnet tights with this. I think that would look pretty cool. You could wear like a pop of color as well instead of black and white top. But I think this is actually quite a cool outfit. Not sure if I'd actually wear it to a festival, but um, yeah, I think it's quite festival vibes. Maybe more of like the sort of Forbidden Forest sort of festivals rather than like V-Fest, but V-Fest isn't a thing anymore, so who knows. Anyway, this is the last outfit. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some outfit inspiration and just a bit of excitement to get ready for the things that are about to happen in a few months time. Everyone stay safe, follow the rules for now, otherwise these things are not gonna be able to happen when we think they will. So make sure you're sticking to the rules now so that we can have the best summer ever. And yes, I really hope you like the outfits. Let me know if you want any other videos like this. I will link as much stuff as I can down below or something similar. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.